The following show is for entertainment purposes only. No information or advice should be held as useful or proper. If you have a serious question or problem, consult an actual doctor or certified specialist. Avoid the clergy, though. And finally, this show is rated F for salty language. If easily offended, turn it off. Welcome, deviants. Please open your sutras to song... 69. Never go eyes to eyes. What the fuck? Well, if it's for fucking science, I'll do it. <laughs> Coming soon. I had like a cum bubble. Did you really? No, not really. Oh. <clears throat> Hello and welcome back to Coming Soon. I'm Nurse Meff and this is... Dr. K. Hey. How are y'all doing? Uh, today's show is a very special show because it's near and dear to the, I'd say hearts, but we'll say throats of all of us. And uh, today's the oral show. <laughs> We're cunning linguists today. <laughs> I don't know how many other jokes I can make. Well, I'm sure there'll be plenty. I'll just play it by ear or by throat. And uh, so, yeah, this even though usually Carl is in charge of taking polls <laughs> so many ways, we uh, I decided to... Well, pretend everybody was Lafayette and take my own polls this week. <laughs> and uh, so I figure we start out at the lower end and then become... What did you, you find out? I figure we... I'm, I'm anxious to yeah, find out what you found out. We'll start out with the tamer stuff and then work our way up, you know, since we're supposedly salty. And mm -hmm. uh, just, uh, <clears throat> I contacted, for most of these polls, I got a hold of 50 guys and 10 girls. Not at the same time. Not in oh, a row. Why not? And... <laughs> 37 would have been a better number, <laughs> but 50 seemed like a nice round number. And uh, so, yeah, the first thing I asked was just, uh, if they liked giving oral. Mm. And uh, I know, speaking for myself, yes, obviously. And uh, so, 50 guys, mm -hmm. 45 said they liked it. Giving oral to a woman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I would have. Straight guys. Yeah, these uh, sadly at this point, I my pool we we live in bumfuck the tundra. So um, while there are there is a, a gay community up here, the, it's not. As it's not a, yeah, it's not as prolific. It uh, is that a word? Prevalent. Prevalent. <laughs> Provincial. Um, <laughs> anyway, I didn't I didn't uh, have some my uh, gay friends that actually live down south because I got smart and moved to a nice city. You know, really, yeah. it's not quite as rednecky. But anyway, so anyway, for the for the purpose of my polls, hey, <laughs> the, the the guys are straight, the girls were uh, either, uh, most of them. Anyway, so the fifty guys, forty five liked giving oral to women, and five said they didn't. Which well, uh, yeah, I know I I didn't want to be judgmental, but I was like, the fuck you don't want to eat pussy for it, but yeah. You know. Fair enough. A uh, few of them actually, and I, I know it's terrible, and it sounds like from you know a shout out from some movie. Uh, a few of the five were like, I don't like the smell. And I'm like, well, generally isn't really a smell. Like, yeah. I know I know. growing up I'd always heard like, smells, tastes like fish. It's like, N no, you should probably check that out. Um, yeah. It's one of the first signs that goes not feeling well. Yeah. I'm, uh, smell very yeah. yeah. There's, there's, obviously there's times when people are like, oh, screw it, let's get a quickie or something else. And yeah, maybe you've both been hiking or something, whatever. But generally, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> uh, I'll put out this one tiny bit of info ever come from me that is actually true guys if it smells like fish even nice natural fish don't eat it be leery don't eat it hence in my mind don't i mean syphilis. i'm sure there's better ways of being safe but in my mind too uh actually learned this when i was in the military <laughs> they have all those lovely films they give you and stuff oh. and they were like don't ever stick your dick in anything that you wouldn't put your mouth on oh wow really yeah that was an actual that was an actual, was an actual wow. boot, boot camp uh <laughs> Because they knew they were going to be unleashing a bunch of testosterone-fueled numbnuts that wanted to instantly Fuck go out and everything. get... Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, that's probably really? a, wow. a good term there. If, on anything you would yeah, because if you're like, I wouldn't put that in my mouth, that same would go for women. Like, if your dick's that nasty, you probably don't want it anywhere else in you. No. Except your eyeball. Right. She agreed. I did. And so, yeah, that one, you know, most of the guys liked it, which that really didn't surprise me because... Eating pussy's awesome. It is awesome. And the ten girls I got a hold of, I just don't know that many girls because they're all, you know, they 
they're shy around me because I'm so gorgeous. Yes, <laughs> that is it. <laughs> My virility just batters them in the face. <laughs> like oral. <laughs> Uh, of the ten girls, seven said they liked giving head, mm -hmm. and three said they didn't. Okay. Now, once again, I with the girls, I, I know pretty much a split mm -hmm. reference. In fact, I'd probably say six out of ten uh, like both, guys and girls. Okay. Um, the three that said definitely no gross, that's, I heard the words degrading. Really? Okay. And uh, the, one, the, threes that said, the three that said no... It felt degraded by it were straight girls, so it was definitely, you know, they did not want the cock in the mouth. Wow. Okay. Or, any, or anywhere near it, <clears throat> which, like that comedian we saw the other day. Yeah. That was like, you know, <laughs> ladies, try to look like you're uncomfortable and upset because it's kind of a turn-on for us. Is it really? So, that's another whole conversation. <laughs> we'll okay, get, okay, fine, fine. <laughs> we can get into the role-playing degradation the thing someday. And I, can we do that next week? Sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah, well, we could do a role-playing uh, episode, cosplay, the whole gamut. Can you wear a gamut? Cost, can you wear a nurse outfit? Like, if I could find one of my size, <laughs> that would be that would be a good photo for our page. Yes. <laughs> nurse Meff. So yeah, generally, uh, the girls that obviously liked other girls, well, you know, hey, dive in there, right? And, but, yeah, the three out of the ten uh, that didn't like it, it was just dick. And uh, you were saying something about a poll that said something about uh, lesbians and oral sex that did not make sense to me. Yeah, actually, it's in my book right here. Let me find it. Keep talking. All right. Okay. Um, among lesbian women, cunnilingus is a common activity for, yeah, for achieving <laughs> orgasm. According to one study, however, as many as 25% of lesbians rarely or never engaged in cunnilingus. That was the stu study done in 1983, so it's 29 years old, but instead of kiss, instead, they relied heavily on holding, kissing, manual stimulation, and pressing themselves erotically against each other. Scissoring. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Just like Xerxes in 300. <laughs> it's actually called, here, I'll find it, keep going. Tribidism. There you go. Wow, really? Hey, look. look. <laughs> That's a whole section on most porn sites, man. Of course, I really? know, of course I know the name. Yeah, okay. tribidism, or they call it tribbing. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's when you want some, like, more, uh, well, they're not all that way, but some are, like, almost more... Uh, sensual. No, 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 no. I'm saying they have the sensual ones, but then sometimes you have the, like, the two chicks that are, you know, almost, like, degrading each other at the same time. Oh. And, like, yeah? Yeah. You like it's like, like those little balls on the, the executive guy's desk that go click. Click, click, click. Especially if they have piercings, you know. Oh, I guess so, yeah. That would make that noise. In fact, someday when I'm a billionaire and have my own desk, I'm just going to have two chicks, no, five chicks in sex swings that just go click, click, click <laughs> above my desk. they got to have piercings so it makes the noise. And they little magnetic balls. would be fantastic. <laughs> it would work. So, yeah, the, that, that's the most vanilla part of the polls. It was just who likes giving oral? And, well, most people did. A few hang-ups. If you don't like it, I'd say, well, if you've, if you've tried it and don't like it, there's nothing I can do for you. But uh, if you haven't tried it, you really should try it. Because I've found in my, at least in my uh, limited scope, that generally, really, start out with that. You know, get her in the mood. Make her happy. Yeah, see, in mine, I asked different questions. I asked for oral sex, is it expected, not expected, from the guy's perspective? Yeah, oh, okay, from, yeah. like a dude. Yeah. So, expected for him to give? Or? Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, expected him to get it. Oh, to okay. To receive oral. And then, um, for girls, if they expected it, they didn't expect it. And how often does it happen? Sometimes, always, never. Yeah, I know the ex on the expected side of it, I, like I said, I, I generally always, you know, eventually make my way down there, usually near the beginning, because once again, it's a way of saying, oh, they're healthy. You know, B, it's... You know, give a little, God damn it, and it's fun. I, I enjoy it, so it's not like, oh Christ, I have to do this chore first. No, get in there, have so a ball. So many of you guys. But I've that. never, never, I can say once, unless you know the person was like, yeah, I'm gonna suck your dick, and then you're like, well, I don't know why it sounded like Mr. T there, but <laughs> suck your dick, fool. But uh, I myself, I uh, you know, obviously love it. I've never expected it. I mean, quite often it happens, of course, in, in the course of the... Uh, Evening. Yeah, the, the athleticism. <laughs> but yeah, I guess in that way, and yeah, don't don't think I'm not a pig, but I, I generally more expect to give it, and then, you know, if it happens, once again, it's back to the guy thing. It, everything feels good for a guy, generally, yeah. except for cheese graters. So... <laughs> 
yeah, you know, sure, it's great, and so is everything else. So, you know. Yeah, no, a lot of you expect it. Yeah, yeah, I've never a been that guy that's been you, like, yo, suck my dick. A lot of you expect, yeah, a lot of you expect it. And then see, and then I asked, I'm like, well, okay, so if you expect it, you must be willing yeah, to. Yeah, reciprocate. To, to, yeah, to, to return the favor. They're like, no. Wow. Yeah. I the douchebag factor there. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think if, if, if you want me to suck your dick, I think you should definitely return the favor. Yeah. I mean, and, and. Be fair, and, people. Well, and not just that. I mean, generally, you guys are a, a sure thing. You know, it, it's you're gonna blow your load, regardless. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It, it's 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 not rocket science for you guys. <laughs> Red rocket. <laughs> Insert here, you know, in out repeat if necessary. You know what I mean? It's pretty pretty straightforward. But to to, to get a woman to res, you know achieve orgasm, not many women can actually achieve orgasm through penis vaginal sex, right? Yeah. Right, so I mean, it's, I, I mean, I've heard. You, you've heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice way of making sure that she is happy before you, you know, go to town, and because you're gonna be happy. Regardless. Oh yeah, and not yeah. to mention, I mean, folks, if, if you need to check out for 20, 30 minutes, or, or you know, you're like, oh Jesus, that's way too much. Whatever, maybe you're amazing. You know, five minutes, whatever. Spend some time down there. The mixture of her getting relaxed and excited, and let's face it, you know, I don't want to conjure up a fucking. Oh, what's that movie with uh, the Joker? Uh, Brokeback Mountain, you know, with the whole spit thing. <laughs> but seriously, there's a lot of saliva going on down there, plus her juices, which I think we decided were made of saline solution. And unicorn dust. And unicorn dust. So, I mean, you know, lube's fun too, but sometimes you may not even need it at that point because no, you, no, you've gone you, to town. Yeah. If you make her happy, you yeah. know, generally, she's, and, and then she's going to be much more relaxed. She's going to be... Much more willing to let her inhibitions go. It's like when they turn on the automatic doors at the supermarket. You're like, this is so much easier to get this cart through here. Well, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, pretty much. That's the supermarket analogy. <laughs> <laughs> so what else did you find out? I'm so Well, I'm then so I excited. asked, after asking the giving oral, I was like, well, most logical thing is, who likes receiving oral? <laughs> 50 guys? Seriously, they all said yes. Of course they did. <laughs> I don't even know why I asked. It was kind of a waste of uh, phone minutes, but whatever. They were like, oh yeah, obviously. So, and the girls? The girls, nine of them liked it, and I actually found a girl that, one girl, well, out of the ten, obviously, I didn't talk to the population, but one girl totally did not like Really? She said it was disgusting to have someone's face down there near her private. So I'm guessing... I'm not a doctor like you are, but <laughs> <laughs> I merely play a nurse on the internet <laughs> and in some people's, you know, fantasies, but I'm thinking probably the girl that was just like, had the, the disgust thing of it, either A, had a really bad thing in the past, yeah. or just some kind of psychological, you know, like Carrie's mom, you know, dirty fun bags, you know, and you just, Maybe, uh... that's where the sin is, you know, yeah. keep the devil's tongue from the sin box we'll work on that <laughs> and but yeah so yeah most of the girls were like yes please you know well like and that goes back to to generally we don't achieve orgasm any other way it's usual manual stimulation or it's, you know some sort of stimulation in that aspect yeah that that makes us happy <laughs> and if you ring our bell, chances are <laughs> we're going to be incredibly... It's like ski ball You'll get some tickets, <laughs> you change the tickets in for... Oh I, oh, I don't have quite enough for analis. Oh, but I got seven tickets, and that's enough for veg. There you go. Uh, How many tickets do you need for anal? That probably depends on the person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like to quantify it because some people like things more than others, so and they'll yeah. be like, hey, that shouldn't be that expensive, so <laughs> figure out the pricing on your own, and probably best not to call it prices when you're with a woman. <laughs> I said tickets. <laughs> this is true. So yeah, those ones, the, those first two, giving and receiving, mm -hmm. you know, pretty straightforward and not that surprising, no. other than the chick that didn't want her pussy eaten. Luckily, these people she knew me, so I didn't get any like you know slaps of like, are you offering? Like, no, I'm <laughs> just taking a poll. <laughs> Pretend I'm Carla. <laughs> okay, keep going. So the ne the next one, as we're ramping up here, I was like, how many have tried autofellatio? 
Oh, oh, I have something in my textbook about that. Okay, what? You keep going. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. So, auto fellatio, for those of you that don't know Latin, you fucking ignorant bastards, is uh, self filating yourself. Where well, I'm still using the fellatio. Sucking your own dick. And uh, so, talked to 50 guys, and uh, 32 admitted to have tried it. Did they fall off the couch every time they tried? Um, well, yeah, the, <laughs> some were still kind of embarrassed, even though they admitted it, uh, and so not many of them would, like, explain exactly how, usually it sounded like just in the floor trying to, like, push their own head down, you know, mm -hmm. like, um, one guy talked about how he, like, almost did, like, a inverted yoga thing with, like, his head on the floor and his back up the wall and then, like, letting his knees fall really? down. So letting gravity kind of push his torso yeah. under his face. That was one of the guys who made it. Really? Wow. Yes. Does he ever leave the house? Uh, <laughs> he claimed that he's only done it twice. Oh, okay. And I was like, really? Why would you, why why would you, would you stop? Why would you stop if you can do, yeah. And his was that it still hurt like a motherfucker just bending that far. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, so I'm like, yeah, I guess I can believe that. I can say I tried in the past, and even when I was, like, in super good shape, yeah, my spine just don't bend far enough, whatever. Can't do it. Un, un, unrelated, but I remember ages ago when, uh, as most uh, musicians get those uh, things, you know, urban legends pass around, and one time they were like, oh, I heard Marilyn Manson had his ribs, lower ribs removed. Oh, so that doesn't geez, affect the flexibility of that. Some models will occasionally have a rib That's removed disgusting. just to give them the figure, but rim, the ribs aren't really what stops you from bending that far. It's all down to spine Is and it? yeah, the curvature of everything. Mm. So yeah, even if he did do that, which really doubt it, that doesn't help. His spine's not made of pipe cleaner. Yes. Yes. Okay. So uh, so yeah, fifty, well, thirty-two he, tried, eighteen said no way because and it's hilarious. It was. It was gay, right? Yeah, they're like, it's, <laughs> it's fucking gay, and I'm like. <laughs> Oh, my, why? It's your, it's your own. Penis. It's yeah, and it's even if you like, you're like, screw it. I'm also gonna come in my mouth. It's your shit, man. It's no different than anything yeah, else. Over. Yeah. Well, it says in my textbook here, it's out of pleasure. Kinsley, um, Robert Kinsley, big huge sex educator guy, did a study in 1948. <laughs> this is quite old. Um, that many many males try it but usually only less than one percent were actually able yeah. to achieve it so your one buddy is like the, is the one percent yeah i've Good heard job, buddy. i've actually heard and it, well it is true i mean he's even admitted it himself it wasn't i heard it from someone else kevin smith has done it he got it yeah and even when he, he even really? when he was chubby yeah he was just wow. like yeah so it's made of rubber bands so yeah i guess that's awesome secret of success Blow a load in your own mouth. Did he blow the load? Do we know this? Yeah, yeah. He, did he really? Yeah. That's awesome sauce. So, yeah, good for him, too. Another one percenter. <laughs> yeah. And then I asked some girls. Obviously not if they sucked their own dick, because I couldn't, sadly, I could not find any... <laughs> any girls that you know with a penis. Yeah, no chicks with dicks for the moment. Um, well, most of them were just like, what? No, no. Except for one who tried in front of me clothed i might add oh did she did was she successful she was at work she was like hold on a minute and no nah, not even anywhere near no. and, and my guess is you know even though most guys you know ain't that big anyway yeah there's even less you, you got a lot more yeah. space to make unless you know yeah. you have like a eight inch ca cow a, tongue or something but she's a contortionist yes like a giraffe tongue perhaps they, <laughs> they have those really long ones but, Simmons but yeah, no, I've, I've, I, I did see on the internet once a, a, a chick, female, whatever you want to call the, those women. Us women folk? Yeah, women folk. I saw one on the internet that could. Yeah? Yay, internet. But yeah, she was literally like a, a cir you could see her spine was like bent 90. It was one of those circus freaks that has no... Contortionist. Yes, contortionist, thank you. Circus freaks. I'm guessing most of the uh, cast, the cast of... Uh, <laughs> What's the Canadian uh, circus kind of show? Cirque du Soleil. Yes, I'm guessing everyone at Cirque du Soleil can suck their own junk. We need to go to Montreal and find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, they're French, though. Shit, do you speak French? No. <laughs> you have to Good speak job. to your nostril. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of guys tried it. Some were like, oh, it's gay, and, you know, the chicks. It's so funny, everything's gay. It's just not guys. really working. I'm, I'm fine with it. I know, but... Oh, just if, if I if I could get in there and bend it far enough, I'd be like sticking it in the back of my throat, going, "Take it, you fucking whore!" That's you know, fucking awesome. Maybe slap myself a few times. And, 
How would you hair? spit in your own mouth? Maybe spit in the air and then yeah, catch it. Pull your own hair. Take my own spit. My hair's thin. I gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> gotta keep my locks while I have them. Now the next one it gets more interesting. Good? Analingus. Oh, nicely done. Yes, we're working our way around. <laughs> uh, Fifty guys mm -hmm. survey said. Twenty-two said yes. That they like their ass liked. No, no, no. This like is ass. sorry. This is giving. Okay. Yes. Twenty-two out of fifty, so not. Not even yeah. half. Yeah. Uh, said yes, they would. Mm-hmm. And I see I just wrote this wrong down. That was actually 12. Tw only 12 said yes. Oh. Because okay. 38, because I had circled 38, yeah, 38 really big. 38 said, said, no. said no fucking way. I myself, asked. I will say, I yeah, no problem. It depends on, usually on two things. Mm-hmm. One, person ain't fucking nasty. <laughs> you know, <laughs> take a shower, people. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and two... If either A, they've said it, or, you know, sometimes you can just read a person, you know, yeah. say you're down there eating out the, yeah. their pussy, and then you're just kind of like, oops, slipped a little bit, and they don't, like, instantly lock up into this rictus of, oh my god, you know, either A, they make okay. a pleasurable sound, or they're just okay with it, then you try and work a little farther there, and then, okay. yeah, so if the person's into it, and they're mm -hmm. not covered in, you know, leaf mold. Leaf mold. Yes. Okay. Terrible thing. Um, <laughs> then, yeah, I, I'm okay with it, I, you know, there's... I'd say there's really nothing on a female body I won't put my tongue on, especially the eyeballs. Yours, wow. Okay. But uh, yeah, so but most guys, most guys were like no, and their thing was just like nah, it's gross, or you know. See, I don't have a problem with it, but if you expect me to lick your asshole, okay, you're talking about giving. Yeah, it's got to be landscaped. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's got to be landscaped. Yeah, and I'll say on that note, it's also like I guess it wouldn't be a hypocritical because I'm the one giving. But, like, it's, it maybe just doesn't make sense. I don't really like receiving it. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, all for giving it. But I'm just like, eh, no thanks. If, it, if yeah. nothing else, it's back, you know, dick's my favorite part. Just <laughs> don't, don't kill yourself finding some weird erogenous zone that I don't even know about because I'm quite happy with orgasms. Fair and right. so, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a giver in that, in that case at least. <laughs> And then, so, yeah, on your, your, your comment just then about giving it. Just, it's got to be landscaped. Like, yeah. That's and my only request. Out of the, uh, the, the ten girls I talked to about giving, mm -hmm. uh, the, um, let's see, two said yes, mm -hmm. and that was pretty much the thing. They're like, it's few and far between, but it's got to be, you know, pristine Zac Efron, you know, asshole. Zac Efron's got a clean asshole? I'm guessing he has no body hair. Cause Probably he's not. Still prepubescent at the age of whatever he is. Yeah, fair enough. And then uh, one said uh, women only, which is probably back to the same thing. They Generally, I hate, you know, whatever will be stereotypic here, women, most women nowadays, are probably going to have a higher chance of not not looking like Grizzly Adams lives in their butt, yeah. you know? So, you know, that was whatever. And I actually did not even think, hilariously enough, to ask what girls <laughs> enjoyed receiving it. Maybe oh. at the time I probably didn't ask it because it was just like this might once again come off as like she a just got all creepy guy talking about the oral and yeah, yeah yeah got distracted. I understand. Or just you know they'd be like, is he asking? Because most of these people I asked while I was at, <laughs> my, during my day job running around during the day. Can I lick your asshole? Yeah, so that that could have come off wrong of them thinking I was propositioning them rather than <laughs> doing this for science. God damn it. So you know that 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 was that. So yeah, I guess you're pretty much same boat. You know that's like. Be clean for good fuck's sake. Yeah, and... that's the only. But I mean, in the same sense, so if you find a male or female that are generally into a lot of ass play, generally it's gonna be pretty landscaped because yeah. that's what they like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not just out of the blue go. Oh my god, you know, sh shove that zucchini in my ass and it's not shaved or waxed. That's or why I wax my eyebrows <laughs> for eye, eye sex. Oh right. You don't, you don't want to go in there with bushy eyebrows. I guess not, right? It's terrible. <clears throat> And then next, just jacking this up more. This is getting dirty. I'm excited. Uh, we've never gotten dirty on this show. <laughs> uh, performing oral on someone after coming. Oh, dun dun dun. Yeah. I know a whole bunch of guys are like, no dice. Yeah. They're like, it's your come. They're like, I deposited there for you. It's your problem now. Yeah, out of this one, 13 guys only. Said they would go down on a girl after they'd, you know, blown a load up inside of her. Mm -hmm. 
And the rest, uh, was that, 37 said no. Or, yeah, said no. Really? So, very small amount. Myself, I don't give a fuck. It don't bother You're me at so all. You're so easy. No, no. I just, <laughs> I just really don't have hang-ups. And plus, it's my own. Now, if there was, like, say, a group orgy train mm-hmm. where, you know, I'm not like maybe, yeah, yeah, if there's, like, 14 different peoples, if nothing else, just the health thing alone. Uh, let me chug every guy's cum in this fucking room. I guess I have a tiny bit of uh, homophobia a there. Tiny like, bit. That would make me gay if I had 14 different semens in me. But, uh, I don't know, oh, maybe. Well, the got there. Make me buy, perhaps. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, I, you know, whatever. If it, if it like, really, guys, the, the reason here is, you know, like I said, generally, go down on a woman first. Have some fun. Yeah. Loosen the room up. But, say, you know, she wants a quickie right then and there, one of those, you know, like, bone me! You know, I'm sure it happens. Because <laughs> we talk like that. And the, Yeah, exactly, <laughs> in that tone of voice. And you finish, because, you know, it's a quickie, that's the whole point of it, but she's almost there, didn't quite finish. Now, she's got her engine revved and blah, 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 and you don't want to just be like, okay, that was cool, you know, have fun, see ya. Like, there's just go nothing, down there. There's nothing yeah. worse than being left frustrated. Yeah, especially when she, I mean, well, you, she should always come regardless, but especially, you, you get a girl to almost there and then leave, you probably are never getting a second shot. Yeah, the chance of being a repeat customer <laughs> after that is pretty slim to none. Yeah, so... Yeah. If, if it bothers you that much, you're like, oh, there's some of my stuff there. Use a condom. Or. Do it first. I always forget about condoms. Oh, the, Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> okay, there you go, you fucking weirdos. Just use a condom. But okay, say you don't. Just and go. if it's a flavored condom, her vagina will taste like, you know, sunshine and strawberries. Yeah, I was using the Vicks Vapor Rub ones, and it's yeah, just, don't, don't do just that. horrible. Stimulating. <laughs> But, but yeah, or, or when you go down there, just, like, sneakily, you can pretend, like, oh, I'm going down there, and you, like, you put your hands near it, and you can just, like, slightly, just, I mean, don't scrub at it, but you can move stuff if you need to, and then, really, the clitoris isn't inside the hole. No. So, if you're that, you don't have to, like, bury your face in it, you know, some of us like rolling around in the ship, but if you don't, it, there's ways, don't be such a pussy, yeah. if, even though that's an odd word for this, but, <laughs> You are what you eat. So you Get some had, pussy. So have you ever had a terrible oral experience? As in me giving? No, as in you receiving. Huh. <laughs> well, I guess one would pop to mind if I had had one, like, as in, like, oh, my God, she almost bit it off. Yeah. I mean, there's there's some that, you know, just kind of, like, sit there and, like, lick at it like it's a piece of fucking English toffee or something, and you're like, mm-hmm. what are you doing? <laughs> but, but generally, if if it, it comes back to the, I don't like, I only like to do stuff that I know people are into. Mm-hmm. So if if someone's really not that into it, it's like, you know, let's just do other stuff. But you've never had a horrifying experience. No, no one's ever like bitten it or anything. No. No, thank goodness. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, there's like a been there's there's been some kind of lackluster. Yeah. But <laughs> in that case, you're just like, okay, yeah, that's great. Let's move on to this, you know, and just you know, be nice. But yeah, never a bad experience. In fact, my first uh, girlfriend, uh, you know, fucking centuries ago. Yeah, because you're Dracula. When we met, I'm Blackula. <laughs> uh, when we when we when we met, uh, she was. Uh, I met her through my grandma's church, and I'm not gonna <laughs> say any more names because it just starts narrowing down here. Different country, so whatever. And I, she really won't be listening to this. I know for a fact. Um, we're, we're still friends, but yeah, this ain't her bag. Uh, at that time, she was a virgin, and uh, actually so was I. And she, you know, did very Southern Baptist. Okay. So, you know, sex was, you know, oh no, save for marriage, plus the fear of, you know, back then especially getting pregnant, which of course yeah. I wouldn't want that either. But, you know, just when you're in a strict Southern Baptist type home, you know, there's so many more levels. But for her, for whatever reason, she was like, oral's okay. Oh, and okay. so it was her first time and mine. So for like, you know, the months we were together, uh, yeah, it was just like this constant learning experience. So in, in a way, I, I'm sure that, you know, psychological blah, 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 I think it uh, probably, you know, helped my development in the fact of like sex is oral, you know, so in the fact, of, you know, quite often if I'm starting or fooling around, whatever, then oral's like just a normal 
thing. Wow. And so that's uh, very rare. Yeah, yeah. So, we, so we had tons of oral sex and nothing else. And in fact, I, to this day, never, never did fuck her. Really? Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Which is fine. Well, I mean, we had fun, and she was a learning experience for me because it was just like, what is this stuff? And plus, I'll just say this was, like I said, decades ago. Um, that was back before it had gotten uh, trendy to have less hair. Oh. So really? not only was I learning, but I was learning on the model that also, you know, had a <laughs> fucking little sweater thrown over. So. Oh, wow. So it's like a doctor in the Middle East where they have to, like, <laughs> examine the woman through a blanket with a fucking mirror because if they look at it, they'll turn to stone or something. I'm not sure the Gorgon lives in there or something. Oh, but... wow. So, yeah, I had to, I had to learn the, on the, the hard the hard difficulty in the video game. <laughs> find, wow. the, find the clitoris game. In the big, giant forest. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, Did nothing against... Giant bush? Back then, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I can't speak for her now. Yeah, I know, I know, but I meant then. <laughs> I, 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 I am friends with her on Facebook. <laughs> I'll, maybe I'll send a message to her husband. Hey, does she fucking wax now or oh, something? Oh, don't do that. He does hates it. me. Does he, he really? Yeah. <laughs> he met me once, and just because, I, for what no other reason than he uh, he knew, you know, we were the uh, first boyfriend-girlfriend thing. He, he never, I think he never trusted that she wouldn't go running back to me, even though now we're just great friends. Oh, and like, really? But it was just always this, like, look of, like, you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I didn't even stick it in her, man. Settle down. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I, 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 you know, that's that's, oh, that's how I learned. A, and that's not a horror story. I have got a couple horror yeah, stories. I have yeah, I have none. I was going down on a guy, and my lip ring cut his frenulum. Do you know what a frenulum is? It's underneath your deck where the head of your penis meets. Usually it's kind of Where the like seam is? The little seam. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And lights were off. We we're going at it like crazy. And I'm like, it's kind of tasting a little. <laughs> Coppery. <laughs> oh, Are no, there was, pennies in here? Yes. And then we turned yeah. on the light. And I seriously looked like I had blood all over my face. And so was, you won't let a guy fuck you on your period, but you'll go down on a guy on his no, period. No, it was an accident. It was horrendous. We had to take him to the hospital. <gasps> we made up this story. I hope he does. He's not listening because you know who he is. What did he say? His zipper? You no, know, he told me he got him stuck in a zipper. Yeah, And yeah, he was yeah. so shit-faced. And it was just unbelievably oh. embarrassed. It was really funny. Do you I have to thought, get stitches? Two. Wow. Yeah, my lip ring gave him two. Luckily, that area is like the, the human... <laughs> <laughs> that area is like the human tongue. I think it heals no, pretty the, fast. Heals. Well, so I've the, known guys that got piercings flow. there. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of that, it's not oral, but uh, one of the guys in my band, you know him, but I won't I won't name yeah. him on here because you know I'm nice like that. <laughs> he he uh, got his dick pierced and like literally because I was like you know he told me when it happened. He's like I'm a dick pierced. I'm like that's that's cool I guess. Mm -hmm. And the, you know for the people listening, I have a bunch of piercings, but none of my dick. And uh, you know, but go for it, whatever. Literally two days later, he comes to me all glum looking. I'm like, "What's up?" He goes, "Me and Beep, we're having a uh, rough sex, and <gasps> yeah, it just ripped right oh, out of me." No. <laughs> and it's, it shows how much I care about him. I instantly was like, "Oh, dude, did like it hurt her at all?" Come and he goes, "No, no, it was fine." He goes, "It just tore my shit all." Oh pieces. no! And I've had some pretty horrible experiences. It was. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just told her the names. You guys can't hear. <laughs> I've had some pretty horrendous oral experiences. Like, you know, just not good at it? Yeah, or? like, you know. Maybe if I chew on it. Well, <laughs> I was just going to say, it's not a piece of fucking gum. You don't <laughs> chew on it. All right? You don't fucking chew on it, and you don't. Oh, it was just. And that's so. And yeah, or then they're too. They're too, it's almost like they're scared of it. It's like. <laughs> There's these tiny little itty bitty licks like my like Pitoris has got anthrax or something. They, they thought it was the Tootsie Roll Pop and they were the owl. Uh, They're like terrible. a one, a it's two, terrible. a three. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> how many funny. licks does it take to get to the center of a Carla Pop? Oh, uh, that, that's all you get. And then, you know, I've, we, uh, yeah, I've had some pretty pretty horrendous oral experiences. Yeah, I've had a few times. My problem, uh, the only thing I like, you know, I, I tend to think I'm I'm good at it. But the only t the only times I've had any sort of bad feedback, and it wasn't like, oh, this wrecked it, and you're get the fuck out, is uh, if like say once again gone back to it, you know, after other stuff, uh, I have to be careful sometimes. I just get too into it, and my tongue is actually just kind of strong. You know, oh. just to like, okay, you're, yeah. you're making it a little sore. Yeah. So, but I'll usually just get the hey, you know. 
can you back that off a little bit? They they little don't bit. usually say stop. They just no go. no no. I've actually told I told yeah. I've told a few the ones that are being too rough. I've to just stop. Yeah. So is that that the, the little bit of pain was all right? And, yeah. And yeah, twenty there's... minutes later, now it's just really starting to hurt. Yeah, and sometimes you know, go away. I can do this faster myself. Yeah, and sometimes yeah. <laughs> some, sometimes guys or girls if you're eating pussy, mm-hmm. there are there is that occasional time where. You know, maybe you've both come a few times, or, well, usually the girls come a few times, because, you know, guy might be asleep by then. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, it's okay occasionally, you know, especially if she's like, yeah, we're, we're good. You don't have to finish for a seventh or eighth time, you know. If they're, yeah, no. they're sore, just, just, just let it go. Just bask in the wet spot. Enjoy your yes. night, you know. <laughs> Watch some cartoons, for fuck's sake. But, yeah, so, you know, it's okay to stop, but, you know, if they want you to, mm-hmm. that sort of deal. Mm-hmm. I've had some pretty, I've come back with some pretty sore vagina sometimes, yeah. And it's just, I don't know, it's because they, they don't do it that often, and, you know, they're shit-faced, and they think that they're He-Man. <laughs> I'm going to make you come, and it never works that way. <laughs> and then the only other thing on the, uh, the coming or after-sex oral is I asked the 50 guys and 10 girls if they go ass to mouth. Oh, and... They all said no. I tried the... Now, what about just that what? one time when you're drunk and just things are speeding what? back They're and forth? They're lying to you. I know, you. I know. They're lying to I you. I know. Maybe it was easier if it had been easier if, like, they didn't have to face me while saying it, but whatever. Maybe. <laughs> have you ever gone to ask us? Well... That, <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not avoiding this question, but I just mean as in, like... Someone had a dick in somebody's ass, and then they put their dick in my mouth? Mm-mm. Or, you like... Were, you were going to like have a been... ass, and then you went up and kissed her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, that's what I don't understand. Why are people so hung up on it? If nothing else, folks, the, the bacteria in your mouth are voracious. They are. If it isn't killing you from it being around your mouth, kissing someone else ain't going to do anything. You know, you know, same with the guys. I know guys that won't even kiss a woman after I know. they've come in her mouth. Yep. And I'm, we're not no, talking bro, snowballing. I had a, a boyfriend. Yeah, we're not even talking snowballing, but even yep. just a molecule of cum I might be near I had a boyfriend there. tell me that after I was done, I had to go brush my teeth. Oh, my God. I had to go brush my teeth. Oh. <laughs> That's when you snowball them on accident. <laughs> I have done that, and yeah. it wasn't on accident. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm saying that for you. Yeah. Just, oh, my uh, God, I didn't know. Yeah, no. Oops. That's, I sneezed. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, no, that does, once again, that does, body fluids, man, you know, mm. as long as we're all healthy, have at it. It's like a so. fucking water park. We are like 90% water. Exactly. Yeah. So, semen, don't worry about it. No. It is, won't turn you gay. You're either gay or you aren't. <laughs> if so, well, I'm gay. And Yay. And come is made out of unicorn dust. I'm one of those gay people that loves pussy. How's that? <laughs> Girl comes made of unicorn cum, or unicorn dust anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Just basking in unicorns. Exactly. It'll, it's like Castle Grayskull. You'll get powers. You will. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's good for that. This is like the opposite of what guys used to say with cum. Mm. I'm pretty sure. Oh my God, this just makes me remember it. What? Oh wow, okay. <laughs> I was actually just talking to my partner about this the other day. But, mm-hmm. uh, how far can I go with this story? <laughs> oh wow, is that good? Yeah, we'll just keep it on my side, what I've found and what okay. I was saying. Uh, as Dr. K knows, some people may, whatever. Been in quite a few bands, especially a punk band. We'll, we'll deal with the punk band one right now. And that one, I bellow and scream a lot, you know, yeah. Sex Pistol style, whatever. Quite often, if you have, you know, several shows in a week, your voice starts getting really, your throat literally hurts like a deep throat at a curling iron, you know, and you're talking like this. You sound like Yeah, you're like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good Batman impression. And so, you know, and once again, that that style of music, there wasn't a lot of crooning, but you still, you're like, well, I at least want to sound like I normally do, you know, from wounded moose to, like, dead moose. I have, and it's, it's fucking total fact, lots of pussy juice yeah. heals the throat like no Does it fuck. really? It's got some kind of magic shit in it. Did I don't you? know. Yeah, you go down on a chick, and your throat is fucking cured. And I was doing some studying into, which I, I really can't tell the story, but... It works the other way, it seems, too. Really? Yes. Now, Semen will cure a throat infection. A sore throat. Yeah, I don't know about infection. If you got something viral, people, once again, <laughs> go see a goddamn doctor. You really think just yeah, over, if, overused... If your doctor cords. says you have throat cancer, don't keep smoking and just suck dick. Because it's, <laughs> I don't want your death on my conscience unless you're... Sacrificing Kim, yourself. Oh, I can't say it. Uh, you know, 
that's certain what... people, but generally, yeah. Really? So I, I, I feel. You realize I mean, now that every guy that's heard this is now going to tell his girlfriend or his wife that if she has a sore throat, if she's got a sore throat. Well, okay, I'll just say. Kind of words if, you just opened. Okay, I'll <laughs> I'll say this has only been proven in performers. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's for for though. orating voices. <laughs> I don't know if it'll, yeah, you did, for a cold or something, maybe not so. But if it's, like, from a throat that's just from being overused. For yelling and screaming at people? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Or just, you know, if you have, like, a job where you talk, like, 24 hours a day or whatever, it will uh, clear up the raspiness. Really? So you are a, a, a internet podcast. Yes. Or perhaps. Host. So are, do you regularly <coughs> fix your throat with, with, with unicorn dust? Yes. Girl cum? Yes. Yes. And it's, it works. See what's today. Today is Sunday. Mm-hmm. Saturday at three a.m. was the last time. My throat's still pretty good. Oh, okay. So, wait, I gotta get those dates right, or I might get, <laughs> I might get shot when she gets home. Um, yeah, no, it was definitely yeah because she left Saturday morning. Okay. So, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm bad with schedules, but yeah. Well, the person we're thinking of, yeah. Well, that's pretty fantastic. That, so yeah, that there's girl come will will fix your overworked throat. Goddamn right. That's it. Just many more many more reasons to go down on your girlfriend. Many more reasons. Indeed. And then uh, the final the final uh, oral poll I asked people. <laughs> just like when you say that. Was <laughs> eyeball licking. I uh, of course. All right. And what did they say? Let's see. Out of the 50 friends. guys, <laughs> out of the 50 guys, 25 said they would give. So therefore, 25 guys like, yeah, would, like would be yeah. okay. Like I don't, nobody really seemed like it was their fetish or anything, but they were like, "Man, eh, sure, if they wanted it." 25. So half of them said they would lick someone's eyeball. Mm-hmm. 13 only out of 50 said they'd be okay with someone licking their eyeball. These are guys. Okay. So more were, were willing to give than to receive. Well, See, guys are like Christmas. They're, right, it's more important yeah, to give. Right. That's it. Um, ass to eye, all the guys said no. Well, I told you, you'd never go ass to eye. It will happen eventually. No. <laughs> and of the girls I talked to, the ten girls, three, uh, well, none of them had ever done it, of course, same with the guys yeah. or girls. Three said they'd be okay. One even said, you want to lick my eyeball? It won't be sexual. I was like, that's okay. I'm just <laughs> just taking a poll, ma'am. <laughs> Which point she looked at me weird, but whatever. <laughs> so three were okay to be licked. And then five, so half the girls said, eh, whatever. If somebody wanted their eyeball licked, sure. And same with the girls, none would go ass to eye. Oh, see, I told you. So. I think we covered oral. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Fellatio, wherefore art thou? <laughs> I want everybody to... to to, to write in to you and, and tell us their horrendous oral stories. Yeah, if you have any horrific ones, share them with us because... We want to know. And we're not... Like, you don't want to share them with other people that are still on the fence about oral because don't scare the fuckers off. No. But you can share them with us because, yeah, we don't give a fuck and, you know... I want to know. It's not going to change the, my fucking view. I want to hear the horror stories. And I know, girls, you have them because we've all had horrendous experiences. And maybe I'll... Uh, the, the one thing I didn't ask... Maybe I'll, 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 in the future, get more info. I didn't ask anything about felching. Slipped my mind. Oh, how did, how? How did that slip I don't know. Mind? I don't know. I, you know, oh. I failed us. Yes, I just, a little bit. It's okay. But as we're running over 40 minutes. Are we really? Run, oh, shit. Okay. That, that, that was our oral show. And uh, <laughs> everybody do homework. Go eat something. Go eat some pussy. Or it's dick. good for you. Exactly. Yeah. It has curative properties. It's like that magic pool that. Catholic religion believes in. I can't remember the name of it. Lords, I believe. The Fountain of Youth. They named a fountain after Madonna's kid. That's fucking <laughs> <weird>. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, thanks for joining us. Thank uh, you. Keep the other stuff going and uh, come again. <laughs> and again. Yeah. If you would like to contact Nurse Meff or Dr. K, write to us at punkregent at gmail.com. That's punkregent at gmail.com. Or... Follow at Meph Hunter on Twitter. That's M E P H H U N T E R. Facebook bullshit coming soon. Thanks.